Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Coding Tutorial. Here we are going to solve lead code coding problem longest substring without repeating characters. Here is a problem description. Give a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So for example, give an input string ABC ABC BB. The answer is ABC, which the length is 3. And uh, give a BBB BB. The answer is B with a length of a 1, the string just repeating the character B, and the longest substring without repeating characters is just a B, and with a length of 1. And given PWWKEW, the answer is WKE, with a length of a 3. And here's a note that the answer must be a substring. PWKE, we see here, is a subsequence and not a substring. So substring that a character in the original string must to be close to each character must be close to each other. So to solve the coding problem, to first uh, draft your idea on a sketchboard or a whiteboard is a, always a good starting point. And uh, then organize your thoughts and evolve your idea and come up with a final solution. So here, just follow me. I will demonstrate step by step how to reach to the final solution for this problem. So like here, we have an input string PWWKEW. So our goal is to find the max length of the longest substring without repeating characters in this problem. And uh, of course, the, we need to introduce a variable called max length. So max length just to indicate the max length of the longest substring without repeating characters in this string. And our algorithm will require to have two variables, two index variables, i and j, because we are using the two-pointer technique. So one pointer is faster and one pointer is slower. They both place at the first place position of the string at the beginning. So I'll explain here. So like i and j, the first put at the zero, um, zero index position, they are both visiting the character p at the beginning. And at the beginning, that max length um, just a zero. And uh, for our algorithm, we will introduce another useful data structure called a hash set. So here we are going to introduce a hash set of a character. Let's simply call it the set here. So this hash set is to use to store the, the every character that a J, that a faster pointer is visiting. So why we are going to have a hash set for this problem? Because hash set is a, like a storage of, uh, data structure. So we can store the, the character we are already visiting. So that next time we move our J pointer next right forward, we can know that whether the character that J is waiting is already in the hash set. So we can know that whether the character is repeating or not. So like every time when a J visiting a position, we can check whether the character is in the hash set. If that's not in the hash set, we can add the character that J is visiting into the hash set. Like first we add this B and then we will increase this J, increase this J to the next precision, that's a index one precision, and update the max length. So our max length would be the one, and our j is going to visit in w. w is not in the hash set yet, so w will also add to the hash set, and we keep going and update the j to the next precision. So J is still visiting the, uh, another W, but it is moved to the two index position, and our max length is already two. 
because of PW, that's a, that's a length of a tube. And here, our, the character we are visiting is already in the hash set, the second W we check. So it's a repeating character. So at that time, that means the length from, from the current I, that's a zero, and the current J, that's a two, it's already have the repeating characters. So our length would be two max length for the the uh, starting point i that's zero to the j two. The max length is a two. So that means we need to move our i right forward because from that position we already reached to the max length. So at this time we need to remove the character that the i currently visiting from the hash set to move the right eye to the next position. So that's a one and a W. So move our eye right forward. And we didn't update the J position. So J is still at a two position that's still within W. So W is still in the hash set. So we need to again remove the current character that the I variable is visiting. That's a W and move the I to the right. So I would become W and J is still here. And now because the set is an empty set and J is visiting W, so J, J the W character we are visiting should put into the hash set and move the j next right forward to the k point. And again, the the j the k put into the hash set and move the j right forward. So j, j would move to the fourth index position and visiting the E. And uh, here, like a E put into the hash set. So at this time, our, we update the max length. So max length would become the three, and we will move the J right forward. That's uh, the fifth index position. That's another W. And we check, that's another W. It's already in the hash set. That means we need to remove the uh, I current character I is visiting and uh, move the J right, uh, right forward. But here, J is already reached to the uh, last characters. So we know that we already find the uh, we already iterate this whole uh, string, and uh, we know that max length is a three. So go back to this uh, coding problem. So I will demonstrate coding in Java to solve this problem. So here, as we just saw, we need to have a variable that's a max length. At the beginning, it just uh, initiate with a zero value zero, and we are going to introduce a hash set variable. Let's um, call it as a character set. That's a new hash set, and. Uh, we are going to introduce two variables, two index variables, int i and int j. And while the j is less than the string dot length, it's not reached to the last position of the string. It's not finishing iterating the string and we will move the j keep forward. So, 
as we just uh, demonstrated in the sketchbook. So if the current position that J is visiting is not in the set, so set does not contains does not contains this um, this uh, the character J is waiting. We are going to add this character. And we are going to increase a J. And also, we are going to update the max length. Update the max length, we can simply use check whether the current max length is a, um, current uh, J and the difference between J and the I precision is uh, greater than the current max length. So that's max length and uh, j minus i. So else, if the set contains the current character that j is visiting, that means the character it is visiting is already a repeating character and uh, this time we are going to remove the current character that i is per visiting and we are going to increase the i variable to move the i variable to the right and not move the j position to the right so that's it and uh, we can return the, when this iteration finished, we just need to return the max nuts. So that's it. So we can click the submit button. Accept it. So that's a solution for this problem. So by having two pointers, one faster, J pointer faster, and uh, to check whether the faster pointer, uh, the character faster pointer is visiting is already visiting. We can use a hash set. So hash set just by um, checking the character whether it's a repeating or not. Help checking the repeating or not, and help solve this problem. So I hope you enjoy solve this problem. It's a popular uh, coding problem. So I hope you learn how to solve this problem. So this is a good taker. Thank you for watching. And um, let's um, continue to make progress together. If you like, you can subscribe to my channel and um, get a notification when I update a new tutorial video. Okay, bye.